Brightest blessings, everyone. Sorry I haven't been making as many videos as I had been. I've just found myself rather busy, even though I've been out of school. Today's video, I have a question for some people. Um, I know many of my subscribers are liberal, like me, um, but I am not asking them. I'm asking the conservatives, the Republicans, the Tea Partiers. The more conservative you are, the more I want to hear from you. I've been noticing this for quite a long time. Conservatives, Republicans, any conservative party really, they're known because they want to have as little government in their life as humanly possible. They don't want the government telling them what they need to spend taxes on. They don't want the government telling them what they can and cannot do. The ultimate patriots, the ultimate Americans, right? But that doesn't always seem to be the case because what the reality is, is that they don't want the government regulating anything or the government anywhere in anybody else's life regulating something unless they don't like it. You know, they're always saying, get your hand out of my pocket. This is my freedom. I'm an American citizen. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. I'm a grown man or a grown woman or a grown whatever in the hell you are. But they want as much government as they can regulating homosexuality, abortion, anything that they don't like, then they want you to regulate the hell out of it. The more government, the better. And I just find this a huge contradiction. Conservatives, Republicans, Tea Partiers, why? Do you want more government or less government, truly? More or less? Make up your mind. Let me know. Another area that really concerns me and confuses me is when you think of religious folks, let's just say Christians, all branches of Christianity, you think of them as being more Republican than Democrat, more conservative than liberal. They're also the ones that are always fighting for the corporations. Stop regulating the corporations. Get off their backs. You know, stuff like that. Quit picking on the cor corporations. They're the ones that give us our jobs. If it wasn't for them, no one would be employed. Stop picking on the poor little itty bitty corporations. Stop making them cry and move off to other countries. <sighs> They're also the ones that try to take away as, as much government help for poor people as humanly possible. But this confuses me because they are supposed to be, at least the Christians that are very right-wing Republicans, they confuse me. As a Christian, are you not supposed to strive to be as Christ-like as possible? no matter what branch of Christianity you come from, is it not your duty to strive to be as Christ-like as humanly possible? Is that not your goal in life? And I know by your standards that's never ever completely possible, but the least you can do is try. But wasn't it Jesus Christ that came out on the side of the poor man? Wasn't it Jesus Christ that was constantly encouraging people to give to the poor? Was it not his very words when a rich man had asked him, had stopped and asked him how to get to heaven? He instructed that man to say, uh, by saying, to give away all of his possessions to the poor. And why? Well, the reason why is he said it's easier 
for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get into heaven. Yet, many conservatives, such as Romney, just to name one, or maybe two, Rush Limbaugh. Of course, we have the religious conservatives like Pat Robertson and every other uh, TV evangelist. They're always striving to get as rich as humanly possible. Sure, the religious TV evangelists say that they give to the poor, but I also don't see those men living like any paupers themselves. I wouldn't even mind if they lived as middle class citizens. But when was the last time you saw a TV evangelist that lived as a middle class citizen? When was the last time you saw a TV evangelist that didn't live in a mansion and have gorgeous clothes and cars galore? Sure, I'm sure they gave some money to the poor. But I'm pretty sure that a majority of it stood with them. The thing is, is that I see two, two very important contradictions here, and I need them explained to me. Or maybe if you can't explain them, maybe you should just change them. Why is it that the government should stay completely out of our lives? The less government, the better, unless we don't like you or what you stand for. And then we're going to government, we're going to give you so much government, we're going to run you out of the government. Or, we're Christians, we're a Christian nation, we need to go back to Christianity. But you don't behave like Christians. Christ was a man of the people. He got down to the ground with those poor people. And he encouraged people to give till it hurt to the poor. He said rich people could not get into heaven, yet you strive to take away government funding from the poor and save corporations and rich people as much money as humanly possible. Do you understand this? Do you see the contradictions here? I'm not calling you out, but I would like an explanation. Until then, brightest blessings, my friend.